Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. On Monday, December 14th of this year, the last solar eclipse marked out in red here. I'll show you this, pull it over. This is the area of Chile that will be in total eclipse. At 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Savadera will be in total eclipse. The eclipse will last 2 minutes and 4 seconds. If you're closer to the eclipse center, such as Savadera, it will last 2 minutes and 10 seconds. The eclipse will move eastward across Chile and to Argentina. The last place on the continent to see the total eclipse will be Salina del Eje. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Before it moves off across the Atlantic Ocean. The total eclipse will end at 1.25 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other places in South America will see a partial eclipse looking much like the moon's taking a bite out of the sun. Many people wonder if there's a correlation between earthquakes and solar eclipse and the short answer is yes. I've drawn out all the different earthquakes within all the last week or so and you'll see in this red square we got several earthquakes, a 4.4, um, a 2.7, um, recently, up over here, there was a magnitude 6.1. South America is a very tectonically active zone for earthquakes. Here we got a 8.2 back in 2014. I'll zoom into that location of the recent 6.1. Over 101 people reported feeling this earthquake. It was re It was reportedly... Um, a 5.7 and then upgraded to a 6.1. On ScienceNotes.org it says it's actually not the sun that creates the earthquakes but it's a lunar phase. According to the USGS recent studies have indicated a correlation between high ocean tides and earth tides and earthquakes on shallow thrust faults and undersea subduction zones. USGS calculations estimate that there is a three-time increase in risk of an earthquake. And while many of us on YouTube have reported the correlation between um, solar eclipses, um, the moon, etc. for a long time, that they increase the risk of earthquakes, USGS has been slow to verify that. Just like they were slow to verify the fact that fracking causes earthquakes. Yeah, they now admit that fracking causes earthquakes. The rule of thumb has been a week before and a week after a solar eclipse is the window of earthquakes to happen, anything major to happen. Like I said, here in 2007, there was a magnitude 7.7. .7. That didn't happen during a solar eclipse, but it does show you uh, the potential for a large earthquake to occur in this area because of the coming eclipse on the 14th. Off the coast of Chile, here you can see the Nazca Plate. We can see the Peru-Chile Trench, the Atacama Trench, and this is subduction that is helping to build up the, uh, the mountain range, the Andes. So going back to this map where you'll have either partial or total eclipse, basically anywhere throughout this area could have a three times increase of earthquakes, at least according to what USGS is now admitting. And then for one really odd reason, a satellite that was to be launched on the 14th is now being delayed because of this solar eclipse. According to an article on space.com, it was to lift off from New Zealand carrying a satellite for the Japanese earth imaging company uh, Sispective, they've delayed the launch until the following day and didn't really say why the launch was postponed other than the darkness could complicate its satellite power generation, generating abilities or impose challenging thermal conditions. Now we'll zoom over to New Zealand. Yeah, I thought that was a bit odd that they would actually postpone yeah, the launch of the satellite from there. According to the map of the partial eclipse, um, yeah, hardly anything, if anything at all. 
But according to the article, no, that's got to do with this eclipse that's supposed to happen all the way over. Down, down, down over here. Yeah, very strange. But anyways, I thought that'd be something for people to look out for, an increase in earthquakes. Um, yeah, it is a very active area, and it does increase the risk three times. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.